Chris, uh, what happened? Uh, I mean, you were sort of on and off. What what sort of happened with the the effort to contain their guards tonight uh, down the stretch? Oh no, I think they. I mean, obviously they got great players, guys that can make shots and all. Um, I think we got caught up a couple of times um, in between switching and and staying with our man. They do a lot of slipping, a lot of sometimes they set, sometimes they don't. And I think we got caught up into um, sometimes helping too much and sometimes we didn't. So um, yeah, it was a, definitely a difficult game for us since they. Uh, I feel like they had more energy than us. They were moving the ball a lot faster. They were going on transition. Even when we were scoring, they were just getting the ball and getting it out on the other side. And they got great two-point shooters. So. They made a shot. You guys have played games this year, obviously, where you're missing one guy or two guys. How tough is it to be missing three and, and have guys in roles that they're not used to being in? I mean, obviously, um, when you play a whole year uh, with the same rotation, kind of same player, um, you know, it's not an excuse for us. We got to keep playing and all that. But obviously, you know, we're missing great guys like Scotty Barnes, obviously Gary Trent. Um, you know, those guys can do a lot of things on the floor, obviously, um, precious. Um, so, yeah, clearly, I mean, we missed them today, um, but it's not an excuse. We could have won this game. Obviously, um, there's a couple of breaks that we had that um, cost us. Um, I think there's a couple of fouls that went over the other way, too, that didn't help us. Obviously, um, they, you know, we can't blame the rest for that, but things happen. Games like tonight make you excited about the future of Canadian basketball? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, you see O'Shea, Ben, um, Andrew. I mean, all these guys are. I've been around them. I've seen them play. They all, you know, talented guys. And if you know, you can see her all around the league. Shea, Dylan, everybody. You know, it's just a. It's a really great place to be in for Canada as like NBA players and having guys that are really successful in the league. Is it almost surreal a little bit? Like, especially lately over the last like week, it seems like there's another. Great Canadian or two or three in here every night. No, not for me. I think that I've seen them being good the whole time. It's just about opportunity and having a chance. But um, you know, when we go play in the summer, we all play together and all that. We all have you know pick up and all that. You can see how talented people are, and it's just nice to see them pick take an opportunity like O'Shea today, who started. You know, you know he took the opportunity and played well. Um, and Junemar, he's been doing that all year. So Ben. You know, it could have been rookie of the year and all. So, you know, it's really amazing to see how guys are making it in the league and they all got different talent. And it just shows to the kids that are watching that it's possible to make it, especially when you see a bunch of Canadians in there being successful. Chris, when you talk about that indecision defensively where you, know, you guys are over helping or not helping enough, um, why do you think at this stage of the season that inconsistency is still there on that end? Um, I mean, I would say that um, obviously we play different teams all the time. Sometimes some guys are getting hot. Sometimes we're doing the, real, the right thing and they end shots. Um, you know, I still remember the game when we went to LA. I um, mean, Vanderbilt, you know, he had two threes and we're like, okay, now we got to actually change this rotation and stuff. So, I mean, sometimes some games is just, you know, guys got it going and you could do the right thing and then now they hit shots. And sometimes it's just, you know, miscommunication and. I mean, we got to get better at that, obviously. I think we are having different guys on the floor and all that, and um, guys are still trying to figure it out, you know, how to defend and play together. I think we had really great moments today, um, protecting the rim, contesting the shot and all that. They made tough ones. Um, DJ McCollum made tough shots, you know. Um, those are those are shots that we feel like we, we would take any day, and we made them, so it makes it a lot harder when those guys are making the shots on top of the main guys. Hey Fred, uh, did it feel like just came? Did it feel like it just came down to shot making, or, or where did you see you guys fall short? Yeah, I mean that was part of it. It was a lot of things tonight. I thought um, just overall low energy, low uh, compete level, um, lack of execution. You know, um, not really trying to get done what we were trying to get done. You know, um, so which really just got completely outplayed. I mean. If you watch the game, look at the stats and every pretty much every aspect. Um, points in the paint, second chance points, fast break points. Uh, we turned them over 18 times, but other than that, um, they, they, they just outplayed us tonight. Uh, I mean, energy's been a word that we come back to yeah. frequently. 
uh, do you have any answer for it tonight? No, I mean, look, it was, uh, you know, one of those ones. So we got to be able to move on, short-term memory, and um, focus on the ones in front of us. But uh, I just thought, you know, everything was a little step slow on defense and a lot of short shots and, um, you know, the ball was sticking. That happens when you're just not moving. Bodies weren't moving, you know, at the normal speed we need them to. And um, the way we play, we need to be pretty crisp. And I just didn't think we had that overall. But give those guys a lot of credit. They, they deserve to win tonight. You guys had a lot of trouble guarding the double drag actions towards the end. When that is going well for you guys, do you find it's being more sticky at the point of attack or being kind of quicker on the back end rotations? We just didn't have an answer at all, and we didn't really get to an adjustment that worked either. So, um, yeah, I'm sure, you know, we'll look at the tape and, you know, understand we could have done something differently. But, uh, you know, overall, our defense has been a lot better than it was tonight. But, uh, you know, they spread the floor pretty well. They play a lot of different guards. and. Um, you know, that was just, you know, a tough matchup in that regard. We just couldn't get it under control out front and, um, you know, pretty much the whole game. We had good defense in a couple minute spurts, you know, maybe in the uh, second and third a little bit there. But other than that, you know, they pretty much got whatever they wanted. Pascal did a good job of reading the defense as the game went on. Do you see that happening in real time as he's kind of picking that stuff up and making those adjustments in the middle of the game? Yeah, just being more patient, I think. Um, He's just letting it come to him, and uh, early on, you know, just missed a couple bunnies, and then you know took his time, figured out where he could attack, and uh, seeing where the help was coming from, and was able to find his spot. So I thought he played a really good game um, offensively, and then we just couldn't, you know, make the plays down the stretch that that we needed to. Probably needed to score a little bit more the way our defense was going, and. Um, 20% from three, and you know, this is one of those nasty, ugly games for us. But uh, you know, we got we got games in front of us, so we gotta get better and um, you know try to put a better performance together on Friday. Uh, on another note, you, you've spent your entire career in Canada. You've obviously played a, a big part in the growth of basketball in this country as an honorary Canadian, I guess, so to speak. How cool is it to see? all of the Canadian talent pretty much on a nightly basis coming in here. Well, I'm very cool tonight. So, uh, <laughs> picture of seven. yeah, it's not much appreciation for me tonight, but uh, you guys should be proud. You know, you guys should be proud and just how far the game has come. And, uh, you know, so many guys, even since I've been in the league in my seven years, it feels like every year there's more and more young Canadians coming into the league that play well and that play big minutes and that, you know, have really bright futures in this league. So, um, you know, maybe we shouldn't be so welcoming to them when they come play us, but, uh, like Nemhart killed us tonight. Um, obviously, Matherin is having a, a great year. You know, we know O'Shea. We had him. We got our own Canadians on our team. So, uh, you know, there's we've seen a lot of them in the last week. And um, you know, as the Canadian basketball culture, should be very proud and and um, excited about the future. I think team spent so much time looking at upside of prospects that quality players like Nemhart and they're because they're older prospects fall down the draft. People spend so much time on age <laughs> every year. Every year, we see it every year. So, you know, potential is just, you know, I'm not gonna comment on it, but yes, I think people get caught up in um, what you think somebody should be or what you want them to be instead of just trusting your eyes and going with, you know, somebody who's done it their whole life. And, you know, um, we watched the kid do it. He's been doing, he's been the same player everywhere he goes. It wasn't gonna be any different in the league and just need a little bit of opportunities. He's, he's having a great year. All right, Malachi, um, you came into the game at an immediate impact. What did you see out there? Um, just trying to be aggressive, just trying to be a spark. Um, Got to be ready at any moment, so I just went out there and tried to do my thing. How hard is it to kind of make that like mental adjustment to, you know, having a bigger role, just given the fact that there's injuries and just you know, and just understanding that like you're going to be controlling a bit of the pace? Uh, it's just part of the game. Um, I'm used to it. It's happened before in the past, so just trying to capitalize on any opportunity I get. And then you guys are now 7-1 uh, and one at home um, over the last eight games. Why is it so important to protect home court? Um, we got great fans. They come out every night and support us. Um, we're just trying to get wins for them, for sure. And then is it, do you feel any pressure at all with the season ending and you know, playing stand, playing starting to come around and the standings matter? Um, not pressure. Um, I think we're a good team and we'll get some wins and everything will take care of itself. I think we'll be all right. Um, it took a little while to get any kind of smoothness to the game. Well, 
agree, right? We didn't didn't feel um, super organized at either end at the start, right, or for a while. Um, I thought that um, we let a lot of chances go. I thought we had a lot of fast break opportunities we didn't score on in the first half. Um, didn't shoot it nearly well enough with, you know, a bunch of wide open shots, you know, um, in the game as well. Um, and just couldn't quite get over the hump. Yeah, we knew, you knew their guards were really quick and were going to get by you. And I guess uh, Nampart had a really big night. He did. And, uh, and McConnell did what he does, right? Yeah. Uh, those guys were those guys were trouble. I mean, uh, Nemhard obviously at the start was was um, big. You know, we looked like we were moving a full step slow there. He was he was getting past us into the rim pretty easily. You know, to start the game, we didn't put up much resistance at all. Maybe the first nine to twelve possessions. Uh, I think at the first time out, they were shooting seventy five percent from the field. So those were that was a tough start. I thought we started doing some good things there and stretches. You know late in the half, the first half, and a lot of the stretches in the in the second. And then they made a bunch of big threes, I thought. I mean, we, gave, we made them miss a bunch in a row there. Um, but they hit three big threes late in the game that just kept letting them inch, inch away from us. And we just, we had probably the same looks or better and just couldn't answer back with them. How did you like how Siakam shifted in the second half? Well, he he shifted he shifted towards the end of the first half, I thought, and and you know play. I mean, like we're down we're down a couple guys and missing some scoring and things like that. And you know you need you know Fred Pascal, OG, our main guys to to step up and and play. And I didn't think Pascal was into the game early and early, but he certainly got going uh, towards the end of the second half and certainly most of the second half. Yeah. Will hasn't really found his rhythm since uh, coming here uh, a few weeks ago. Is it just a matter of the shots not falling? Like, what do you need from him, especially down a few bodies here? Yeah, I mean, listen, he's getting some good open looks, and just like anybody, um, he's got he's got to knock some of those down. We're creating creating good offense for for him and others, right? We had a bunch of uh, wide open threes tonight that I think. Um, uh, he and other guys, you know, need to step up and make to really be contributors. I thought he was fairly solid, and he, he plays the right way, and all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, he needs to needs to get his legs under him here and and, and make some of those. Malachi got that extended run in the second half. What did you like from uh, what he was able to do uh, on both ends of the floor? Yeah, well, he did a good job. Um, you know, uh, made certainly checked in and made it made a couple. Threes and and um, those were big because you know we weren't making very many. I mean we shot 20% for the game, so those were certainly important for us. And and he worked pretty hard. He did a good good job of of chasing McConnell around, and McConnell pretty much made every shot there for a while. And then he started missing a few, so uh, he played well. With guys like Nemhart, like older player, older uh, college players. Um, why do you think it is that they slip in the draft? And is it just people are always looking at the upside, but a steady guy like that is really valuable? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, exactly what you said. I think the the youth really gets drafted a lot, um, and the and the four year guys um, seem to go, you know, drop further. I mean, we got a four year guy that didn't even get drafted, right? So I think that's pretty common.